Flav City family, what is up? Happy New Year to everyone. We are about to enter my happy place, Costco, to do a clean eating. What to buy at Costco Hall for 2021. Art wasn't available today, but Brad, a huge Flav City fan, is going to help us out. Avoid the Waldos, the employees, to get this haul done because we're going to walk up and down basically every aisle on Costco and tell you for clean eating, what to buy, what to avoid, and why, and more importantly, how to read the labels. That's the most important thing. And here at Costco, they have some awesome stuff for clean eating. So before we go in there and do our thing, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share, my friends. We have so much content coming at you in 2021. Share the love. There's a bell icon below the video. Enable the bell, that way you don't miss out. Also, I want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Thrive is the longest sponsor of the channel and anything you can get at Costco or any grocery store is cheaper on Thrive Market. In fact, you save about uh, $32 compared to going to the grocery store and the box comes to your door. Plus, they have this really cool price scanner on their app. You can scan any barcode in the store and it tells you if it's cheaper on Thrive Market. Spoiler alert, it usually is. And all Flay City fans always get the hookup. Click my promo link down below. First time customers get 25% off their first order and a free gift. We always hook you up at Thrive Market, so check them out. Okay, less talking, more shopping. Let's go into Costco. We have entered one of my favorite sections of Costco here. This cooler case has some amazing things you're gonna wanna put in your fridge and freezer. First and foremost is the best in class organic deli meat turkey breast on the market. Look at this, my friends. The price per pound is $8, can we see it? $8.17 per pound for organic turkey breast that only has, wait for it, a couple ingredients like turkey, water and salt. This is basically equivalent to Applegate Organic at the grocery store. The only difference is Applegate is literally twice that price. I have this in my fridge at all times. I make keto turkey sandwiches out of this and cauliflower thin buns. It is fantastic. The funny thing is the name. They got to work on the name. It's not very exciting. Even though it's Plainville, they make the most exciting turkey at Costco and that price gets me happy as can be. Right above it is one of the best sausages on the market. It's organic. 100% grass-fed, grass-finished kielbasa smoked beef sausages. This is fantastic. The thing is, even though it's beef, I know some people get upset because the beef is wrapped in pork casings. If you can have pork because of religious reasons, um, there's another one of these called Teton. Teton is sold at a lot of Costco's too, and those are wrapped in beef. But the ingredients are epic. Organic grass-fed beef seasonings, it does say cane sugar there, but there's so little it doesn't even show up on the macros there. These taste great. Just heat them up in a pan or on the grill. And I didn't see them on sale on their website, but they're $5 off right now. Leave a comment down below if you see this at your Costco too. I'm not sure if it's national, but $8.99 per pound for these high quality sausages are fantastic. Or Teton makes another great one too. Got a rumbling Waldo there. Brad's on the lookout here. And then Brad just told me these are relatively new to Costco. I've seen this company before, but I haven't seen these. These are paleo, organic basil, and cracked black pepper, and they're keto friendly, they're organic. Look at these ingredients, you guys. I just went over this with Brad. Organic non-GMO chicken, basil, real deal seasonings, no filler, all thriller. We're talking about 36 ounce package for $12.69. These are fantastic. Clean as can be chicken, clean as can be beef, and that turkey clean as can be, wow, live in this aisle. This is super, super exciting. And then if we come over here, I always love to get this uh, dip at Costco. This is a plant-based dip, and they're actually based out of Milwaukee, I think. You won't even tell this is plant-based uh, queso, because look at the ingredients here. It's cauliflower, which I love doing stuff with, bell peppers, almonds, almond butter, nutritional yeast, which is kind of like vegan Parmesan cheese, ground turmeric, great macros here, and the price is half the price of most grocery stores. Oh, this stuff is fantastic, and there's no dairy. And the best thing is you can't tell it. So load up on that, load up on that. Happy days are here again. This aisle has some great items you want to scoop. First and foremost is this, the Costco organic maple syrup from Canada, eh? 
is an amazing price. 32 ounces or one liter for $10 is a great price. We use this a lot. It's the ultimate paleo sweetener used for sweet or savory recipes. We actually use this a lot in the uh, dessert chapter of the new cookbook, Five Ingredients Semi-Homemade Recipes. Desi uses this a lot. The cookbook is doing great because of you guys. I'll put the link down below. You're gonna love it. So always have a bottle of this in your pantry. And then once you open it, move it to your fridge. And then for nut butters, you're gonna save serious money on this. Creamy almond butter, a monster. 27 ounce container for $6.59. My friends, this could easily be double priced, at, at least double priced, maybe more at most grocery stores. And the cool thing about it is, I always tell you guys to read labels, especially with nut butters. Roasted almonds and salt is all you wanna see. This one is just roasted almonds, that's perfect. Because a lot of these nut butters, especially something like this, which in my opinion is garbage, are not gonna have just peanuts in there. They're gonna have sugar, and horrible oils like cottonseed or palm oil. Oh my gosh, this has cottonseed oil. You almost never see cottonseed oil. If you think GMO soybean or canola oil is bad, cotton oil is even worse. So they should never have sugar or oils in them. So I love this in that price. I always have this in my pantry for smoothies. This is organic peanut butter. And the ingredients here are just peanuts and salt. Now. I prefer my peanuts to be organic because they're legumes. These are tree nuts, almonds. You don't have to get organic almonds, but I do prefer it. And to get two monster uh, 28 ounce containers for $10 is such a win. So have these in your pantry for cooking, sweet, savories, and smoothies. You're gonna be a happy camper. If you're looking for grass-fed beef at Costco, don't bother going to the fresh beef case over there because they don't have any. You have to come to the frozen aisle and you're gonna wanna get this. This is one of the best deals. I'm so happy it's not just a seasonal item. It's here year round. It's 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef patties. And it's 80-20, meaning 80% beef, 20% fat, which is perfect. Any more lean, they dry out really quick. The coolest thing about this is, look at the price. $3.99 a pound for a five pound bag. Now, astute Costco shoppers will remember, it used to be around $3.83 a pound, but still, that price is great considering that right above it, the GMO factory farmed beef patties are $3.32 a pound. In my opinion, I'd much rather have the grass fed for a little more expensive. Why? Because this is 100% pasture raised grass fed. They don't eat any grains at all. This beef comes from cattle that eat a strict feed of GMO corn and soy and are not free pasture raised 100% grass fed beef. This nutritionally speaking is not good as grass fed. Grass fed beef has higher nutritional value for you and it's 100% grass fed. They never have grains. Some Costco's also have a 100% grass fed Wagyu burger patties. We haven't seen them here in Chicagoland. If you have those, those will be even better because Wagyu is fattier and more rich. Either way, get those. You don't have to cook them as burgers. Defrost it, make meatballs and meatloaf. Grass fed beef is the way to go. That price is unbelievable. If you're a Costco shopper, then you're privy to two of the best quality, cleanest, purest cooking oils at Costco. Number one is avocado oil, and number two is olive oil. But not just any olive oil. This is actually rated one of the best ones on the market. We've talked about it before. This is the 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil for the amazing price of $12.99 for this huge, two liter bottle. This one and only this one has independently been tested many times to be pure, clean, and not rancid. This is great for cooking if you wanna cook with it or you could finish with it too. The thing is, why is that important? Because we have a whole video, Waldo, hold on. All right, Waldo's gone. Uh, we have a video about olive oil. 82% of the olive oils on the market are rancid, fake, or cut with processed plant-based oils like canola or soybean oil. This is very pure and very high quality. And the key is it's from one location. They're only Italian olive oils. Cook with this or finish with that. And also come over here, get a bottle of avocado oil. Once again, this one is good 
and some people have chosen food avocado oil at their Costco, that's good too. Even better is the price. This is half the price for most grocery stores. This is clean, this is pure, and unfortunately the same thing happens in avocado oil that happens with olive oil. A lot of it is fake and rancid. This is not, and this is the perfect substitute, I wonder where the lid went for that one, uh, for vegetable oil, corn oil, canola oil. These are highly processed, GMO, highly refined inflammatory oils. This is the perfect sub for that. And the olive oil over there is a great oil that's rich in polyphenols and very good for you, which is why it's so nice to be a Costco shopper, get top quality, top rated oils for really, really good prices. As you come upon the big wall of dairy here at Costco, there's two things that really stick out to me. Number one is this. This could be one of the best children's snacks here at Costco. Organic string cheese. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. It certainly was organic, but the price, I mean, are you kidding me? 36 sticks for $10.59? That price could be double at any other grocery store. What's so great about this? Well, this is organic cheese. Almost all other cheese here in most grocery stores is non-organic. Why does that matter? Because non-organic cheese comes from cows that only eat GMO grains like corn and soy. The nutritional info of that is not nearly as good as organic. Grass-fed would be even better, but I've never seen that for string cheese. So get this, it could be one of the best cheese healthy snacks here at Costco for your kids. And as we weave through the maze here, one second, I gotta be like Walter Payton here. Do running back, oh, boom, here we go. We come down here, sticking in the dairy theme. This is probably the best yogurt you can get here because once again, it's organic Greek style yogurt. The reason why I love Greek style yogurt is that it's strained. What happens when you strain a yogurt? You remove the lactose and you do two things. By straining it, you reduce the natural sugars in here, which is great if you're watching sugar. You actually increase the protein. That's a great protein source. When you combine the protein with fat, it really satiates your hunger. Unfortunately, this is non-fat yogurt. I really prefer full fat yogurt because it's full of good things like conjugated lignoleic acids and omega-3 fatty acids. Um, so even though it's not full fat, it's still organic, it's Greek style, and it's better than the other yogurts here. And that price, I mean, three pounds for under $6, it's great. It could be better, but it's the best one they got here at Costco. When you're looking at the dessert section here in the frozen aisle, I'm very happy to see these and to see they're not a seasonal item. The keto ice cream bars are one of the best things you can get at pretty much any grocery store because what's so interesting about these is there's no added sugar. So they're not just keto friendly, they're actually diabetic friendly and for anyone looking for lower sugar sweets because instead of adding cane sugar here, they're actually using, look at this, a little bit of erythritol, that's non-GMO, and monk fruit extract. My only complaint is that I wish the dairy were organic, but when you're talking about zero grams of added sugar, and even though it has natural flavors there, see where it says? Sometimes you have to ask yourself, self, would you rather have a bunch of sugar without natural flavors or zero added sugar with natural flavors? It's one of the few times I'm okay with the natural flavors because I don't want all that added sugar, and the rest of the ingredients are pretty darn good. And compare that, I mean, these are organic fudge bars here. So this dairy is organic, non-GMO, and the rest of the ingredients aren't terrible, but the cane sugar is in there and there's tapioca syrup. You're talking about eight grams of added sugar per bar. Eight grams is two teaspoons of white cane sugar versus zero cane sugar here with non-organic dairy. Still, you'd rather have this over that. I feel like all Costco's have these keto bars now. The price of under $12, $11 for 12 is under a dollar a bar. Get this if you want the cleanest dessert at Costco. When you're at Costco and you're looking at flavored waters, there's one I want you to zero in on and one only, and it's Spindrift. The flavor here, the flavor is great. The deal I meant here is amazing. We're talking five or 50 cents, basically a can for the best flavored water that has no natural flavors. Let me show you the ingredients. Where are they here? Oh, there we go. So. This is the raspberry lime. How do they do that? With real raspberry, real lime juice. The lemon has real lemon juice. This is interesting because if you look at any other flavored drink on the market, Pellegrino, LaCroix, whatever, they always use my number one public enemy at the grocery store, natural essence, or it's a fancy way of saying natural flavors. My friends, when you see natural flavors at a grocery store, 
there's nothing natural about it. It's a fancy word for artificial flavors. Do not be fooled by it. Spindrift is one of the only water companies that actually uses the real fruit. Do I wish the raspberry puree were organic? Yes, but it's a little, little amount in there, 6%, so I'm okay with that. And the price is fantastic here. Get rid of natural flavors from your water and from your other foods. Stick with the real deal. Always stock up on Spindrift at Costco. They have a huge snack food selection here at Costco, and we've done quite a few videos about the snacks here at Costco, and there are some really good ones, but if I'm gonna show you two of the best snacks to get here, I'm gonna say when it comes to the sweet-ish snack, you're gonna wanna get this granola bar. This is a paleo refined sugar-free granola bar, 16 for 16-ish dollars, so a dollar a bar. I've talked about this in the past, but they make amazing, granola bars that look at these ingredients. Instead of nasty sugar and nasty oils, they put maple syrup, honey, and unrefined coconut oil here, which means this is 100% paleo, it's delicious. And I have seen some Costco's uh, also carry their granola and some have them on um, discontinued. And there's a great price right now. So if you have that at your Costco too, get both of them. They are just fantastic. And then here comes Brad, he's getting the other Bobby approved best in class snack here. New packaging, turn me off. New packaging, exactly. We didn't want to film over there. It's a little too close to the checkout counter. This is more of the savory, right? These are grass fed beef sticks from Country Archer. Not only is it grass fed, but look at the ingredients. There's no nasty sugars, there are no nasty oils, which can't be said about, about a lot of these kind of products. They're 100% keto, paleo, and these are fantastic. So for best in class savory snack, grab this for best in class kind of sweet-ish snack, grab those. But there's a lot of other snacks we talk about here. I'll put a couple of videos to link to. Watch those also because there's always a rotating kind of selection of really cool snacks here at Costco. There's one supplement and only one I really buy here at Costco. It's this, the Vital Proteins Collagen Grass-Fed Peptides. 24 ounces for $29 is an amazing deal. It will easily be double this price at most grocery stores. Actually, Thrive Market has it for the same price. But grass-fed collagen is a must because it's not just collagen for your body. There's also some extra protein in there. But keep in mind, as you get older, you lose the natural collagen in your body. You need joint health, joint support. I'm 42 years old now. I swear by uh, collagen. Actually, I'll be 43 in a few days. So there you go. Um, also, it's great for your hair, your skin, your teeth, your nails, your joints, and your gut. I'm really big on gut health. This is unflavored, grass-fed. You want to scoop a, uh, a scoop of this into your uh, tea or coffee. You won't even taste it. There might be a mild, mild taste, but this is imperative for a healthy diet. I swear by it. Some people can't take the uh, powder. They want the pills. They do have pills here by, I think, U Theory, but they're not grass-fed. I really like that. That is best in class, and I take it every single day. One to two scoops. One in my tea, one in my post-workout smoothie. All right, Flav City fam, that is it. Brad and I just crushed Costco. Brad had a great lookout for the Waldos. We did not get kicked out, but that's what I would buy here for 2021. A clean eating guide to different aisles of Costco, how to read the labels, how to buy certain things and how to avoid other things. It's super important for 2021 and always when you're trying to do clean eating, you know exactly what goes in your body. And you can't get that by just looking at the front. You got to read the ingredients and that's what this channel is all about. So uh, we're going to do a lot more Costco videos because even just walking around with Brad, I saw some new items like keto granola, and some sriracha almonds that I've never seen before. So look for that maybe in the next week. And because we have so much videos coming at you for 2021, like, subscribe, share, click the bell icon below, but spread the love to your friends and family about Flav City. That's the only way we help everyone put the best quality stuff in their body. Uh, but that's it. Uh, two more videos are below us right now. For Brad, for me, for Art, for Desi, and Roasty the Toasty, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later, y'all.